go. Our first event right now is the puck control relay. The pylons are on the ice, and we're ready to go. Let's see who's got the best control. Sam Gagne, uh, he lost that puck there. That was was that the advantage? I guess I thought I was in front of him for a bit. I didn't know he lost the puck. So you took a, got a point for Team White. Uh, what else are we going to see you do today? Uh, fastest skater and breakaway. So hopefully I can win fastest skater. But I think Sanderson might be up for it. So. All right, it's time now for the fastest skater event. That's event number two. And earlier we talked to the boys in the locker room. We'll see who they think the fastest skater is. Jeff Sanderson. Uh, you gotta probably go with Cogs on that one. Cut off, Sandy, I don't know. Uh, I'll say Bobby Nielsen. Probably Andrew Cogliano. Uh, I'll go with uh, Cogliano, the fastest skater. Don't anybody get in his way, Jeff Sanderson! Uh, outstanding job and possibly an, an NHL record in the fast skater. Your thoughts? I just went and skated as hard as I could, and you know, it's uh, kind of lucky, I guess, with the time. 13.37. It's time now for the third competition. It's the hardest shot. And we checked in with the boys in the dressing room to see who they think has the hardest shot on the Edmonton Oilers. Uh, right now, I would say uh, Jared Stoll. Jared Stoll. Oh, Stoll. Yeah. Stoll, could be up there. Yeah, Stoll, probably. Yeah, I'd say so. Definitely not Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Matt Green. Yeah. I know this was the hardest shot event, but from an accuracy perspective, to unplug a power cord, that is impressive. Yeah, I didn't want to see that second number come up, so I, I just hit the uh, the power cord, knock it out, and uh, you know, I wouldn't be embarrassed for the second time with a shot in the 80s. 99.6! All right, the winner of the hardest shot, and it was 101.49. You beat Steve Sales. What kind of magic do you have in that stick, mister? I don't know what kind of magic. I just try to hit the net and try to uh, try to put all your force into it, I guess, and, uh, you know, just hit the net. What, now, tell me about your stick. What's uh, is Obviously, it's not a wooden stick. What kind of stick are we dealing with here? Uh, it's just the uh, Easton uh, Synergy. It's just a one-piece uh, graphite, which a lot of guys a lot of guys around the league use. Not too many guys use wood anymore. That's kind of, uh, that's kind of out uh Pretty much out of the NHL. So. Do you think Wood could actually beat that time, that speed? You know, these these sticks are all about slingshot in the puck, and uh, they have such good flex on the sticks, and that's probably why they do break so much. But uh, you know, if you get a good uh, good kick point, they, they come off pretty good. All right, it's time now for the accuracy shooting uh, competition. That's of course where the targets go onto the nets, the most targets, and the least amount of shots. That's how you win it.
now for the power play event. Everyone's getting geared up for it, and uh, we'll be seeing the goalies in action for this event. Oh, God, it was a little trickery, but Wayne Rollison stops it and then plays it to Steve Stale. Two on three. They're out. Somebody help the blue team. I can't remember the last time you went on defense like that. Well, that's uh, the whole whole idea of it, to have a little fun. And uh, we talked about it before, Stevie and I, and just try to keep the puck away from us as best we can. It was, it was fun for us. do something i mean when you've got an offensive juggernaut like marty reasoner coming down on you and doing what he does best scoring goals all you can try to do is try to stop the bleeding you know and uh what do you think was going on the hats were flying what was that all about oh he's just an unbelievable player i mean he gets hat tricks all the time back in squirts i mean so it's it's great to be able to see him you know rekindle you know his first hat trick since he was 11 years old Thanks for that. Great interview, sir. Well, I'm glad. I'm just glad to be a part of history. Marty Reasoner Day. All right, it's time now for the king of the shootout. Goalies are in position. Here goes Matt Green. Let's see what the results are. Let's check this out. He was watching that, so I can get in a couple more shootouts this year. So, all right, uh, tell me about what you thought. This place is packed. I mean, this is a record. The house is packed. They're all having a good time. What are you, what are you enjoying about this day? Oh, it's just a fun day to be a part of. You know, you get out here, you, you kind of, you don't have that same pressure you have on yourself during a game, and, and you're just having fun. Everybody, you see smiles on their faces, even the fans, and it's great to see the support. All right, King Penner, all the best, brother. Good luck on three on three.